Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this digital logic circuit, and we have been given that the each logic gate in the circuit has the finite propagation delay. So here we have been asked to find for a what value of the input x this circuit will work as a clock generator. So here if you observe, then the input to this XOR gate are x and y, and the output of the XOR gate. Is going through the two NOT gates. That means if the output of the XOR gate is equal to Z, then after the two NOT gates, the output will remain the same. But as it is been given in the question here, the each logic gate will introduce some finite propagation delay. So let's say after going through the logic gates, the new output of the circuit is equal to Y plus, and this Y plus is equal to X X or Y. Where this y is the previous output of the logic circuit. So here, first let us see the output y plus when this input x is equal to zero. So whenever this input x is equal to zero, then this y plus is equal to zero dot y bar plus one dot y, because as you know, this x x or y is equal to x bar dot y plus x dot y bar. So here. This x is equal to zero, and the y is the second input. So in this case, this output y plus will be same as the y. That means if the input x is equal to zero, then the output y will not change. And in this case, the circuit will not work as a clock generator. So similarly, let us check the another condition. So now let's assume that this input x is same as the y. So in that case, once again. This x x or y is equal to x bar dot y plus x dot y bar, and here since both x and y are equal, so we can write this expression as this y bar dot y plus y dot y bar, and as you can see that is equal to zero. So in this case also the output y will not change, and in this condition also the circuit will not work as a clock generator. So similarly. Let us take the third condition. So now let's see what happens when the input x is equal to one. So once again, this x x or y is equal to x bar dot y plus x dot y bar. So now this x input is equal to one. Therefore, over here we will have this zero dot y plus one dot y bar, and that is equal to y bar. That means now when the input x is equal to one. Then this output will be the complement of the y. So suppose if y is zero, then this output will become one, and it will reach at this point after some finite propagation delay. So now this y plus will become one, and once again, since the y plus is equal to one, so in the next iteration, the output of this XOR gate will become zero, and it will reach at this point after some finite propagation delay. So in this way, if you see. Then the output of the circuit will change continuously between the zero and the one. That means whenever this input x is equal to one, then this circuit will work as a clock generator. So from this we can say that for the given question, this is the correct answer.